everyone. In this episode of Classroom Digital Tools, I will be reviewing a small piece of hardware known as a hotspot. And specifically, I obtained this hotspot from a company known as Travel Wi-Fi. You can take a look at them for yourself online at their website, https colon travelwifi.ie. Now, I was going overseas, and I was concerned that with my particular cell phone carrier, that I would not be able to get any Wi-Fi access whatsoever. And even if I did get Wi-Fi access, I was concerned about expensive roaming charges. Therefore, I was doing some research about an inexpensive way to get Wi-Fi, reliable Wi-Fi access, considering that my wife and I were going to be traveling all throughout Ireland, sometimes to some very remote locations. I encountered this website, Travel Wi-Fi, and the product, I have to say, is phenomenal. Throughout our entire travel experience in Ireland, we were always able to get online. And this was very important because it would enable us to use Google Maps, which proved to be essential when we were navigating some of the trickier roads within Ireland, especially the country roads where there was barely one room for a, sing a single vehicle. Anyway, I had placed the order online and I picked up directly from the company's headquarters in Dublin, Ireland. The headquarters were located in eastern Dublin. It was maybe a 10 minute walk from the Airbnb where we, where we were staying. And they provided this uh, bag for the device. Now, if you are not staying in Dublin, if you need them to ship the device to you, that is not a problem. You can make arrangements for them to ship it to you in the hotel where, you're, where you are staying. You cannot, however, pick up in the airport. And it comes in this little plastic case with a device, with a package, you get the actual hotspot device. You get a charging cord. You get a cigarette light adapter for use in your rental vehicle. You get this card that contains the actual password for accessing the Wi-Fi connection. And they also provide you with this pen. So let's go into some of the specifics of why this particular device is so useful and important in your European travels. Using the hotspot is a very simple process. Simply take the device, depress the power button located on the left of the device until all the symbols have been lit up. Now, experience has shown me that it takes about 30 seconds for it to actually generate the Wi-Fi signal. And as you can see, the symbol for the Wi-Fi has actually disappeared from the face of the device and now it's been lit up again. The hotspot is small enough to easily fit in a rental vehicle to maybe hide it in the console or the glove compartment box. It's also small enough to take with you on any hiking excursions you may do. Just slip it in your pocket and go explore that ruin out in the countryside. To connect your mobile device to the hotspot, simply bring up your phone, bring up the settings, click on Wi-Fi, click on the travel Wi-Fi signal, click on connect, and give it a second. Right now it says obtaining IP address, and now we are connected. The very first time that you do this, it will ask for a password, but if you tell your mobile device to remember the password, you will never have to enter that password again. The password is located on the reverse side of this card that was included in the product package. What's very neat about this hotspot is that you may connect up to five devices to it, and it gives you 4G coverage. So that's very strong coverage when you're out in the countryside. Now there will be times in which you will need to power up the device. That's very simply done. You take this power cord, 
you connect it to the bottom of the hotspot, and then you can insert this into any USB port of a device that will provide power. If you are in a rental vehicle, you can also attach it to the cigarette lighter. and the adapter will enable you to power up the device through the car's cigarette lighter. One thing that I noticed though is that the, ci the cigarette lighter adapter heats up very quickly. I mean it, it gets hot to the touch. So after using this a few times I stopped using it and simply utilized the USB port that was present in the rental vehicle. And most modern rental vehicles will have USB ports available. When you are done using the product, you simply return it with all the other items in the package in a pre-addressed envelope that the company provides you. They even provide you with postage. So in your travels, consider using travel Wi-Fi. It can be very beneficial for you as you explore Europe. If you would like to pick up your travel Wi-Fi hotspot from the Dublin office, you can easily locate the address and phone number of travel Wi-Fi through Google Maps. The phone number is indicated right here. The address is on 32 Mount Street Upper in Dublin. Here on Google Maps we see the city of Dublin with the office located here. And zooming in a bit, it's located near Marion Square, not too far from the Oscar Wilde house, and Marion Square has a great statue of Oscar Wilde located in the corner of the park. The offices will be about a 10 minute walk from Trinity College Dublin, famous for the Book of Kells, and about a 20 minute walk from the Brazen Head Pub, which is Ireland's oldest pub dating back to the year 1198. If you found this video useful, please like it and share it with others. Please also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and have a great day!